So now we're going to continue with the truth table for the Boolean logical inclusive OR operator, okay? Um, in the previous video, we did it for the conditional AND, for the conditional OR, and the Boolean logical AND. So let's play it. And as you can see, the conditional AND and the Boolean logical AND are pretty much similar. So we have the false, 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 true in the truth table. And for the conditional AND, we also have the false, 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 and true. Now for the conditional OR, we are going to see the same result, false, and then true, true, and true. So just a little bit of theory. The Boolean logical AND and the Boolean logical inclusive OR operators are identical to the conditional let me show you to the conditional or and to the conditional in except that the boolean logical in and the boolean logical inclusive or operators always evaluate both of their operands they do not perform short circuit evaluation okay and we're gonna see that in a minute so we are gonna go right here and we are gonna have the system system that out that print format it's gonna be like that and i'm gonna grab this one like that and i'm just gonna paste it here it's gonna be the same so the first argument is gonna be this one the percent sign string to the next line percent sign colon and this one is the percent sign lowercase letter b for boolean true or false Okay, so the next um, argument is gonna be, okay, so the next argument has to be Boolean. So again, double quotes, it's gonna be Boolean logical like that, Boolean logical inclusive or, okay. And we are gonna have the, the vertical bar, okay. So we are gonna have another, we're gonna have another, um, arguments okay so we are gonna have again we're gonna have the we can grab yeah we can pretty much grab this the conditional or so let me see i'm just gonna grab all this here and let me just go here and okay so we're gonna have false okay but in this case it cannot be let me see just to make sure this is end okay this is or this is just one and this is the logical inclusive or okay so we only have to take just one vertical bar like that just to move a little bit quick and we can save it okay so we're gonna have false false then we're gonna have false true true false and then true true so let's play it and um, we're gonna have false and then we're gonna have true true and true and this is for the boolean logical inclusive or or just one one single vertical bar for this for this one the conditional or or just the double vertical bar we're gonna have false and then true true and true as you can see they are seen they are identical okay just the only difference is, is that the the single operator so the the single n percent and the single vertical bar they always evaluate both of their operands so they do not perform short circuit evaluation okay so we need two more and we are almost done we are gonna go now for the let me see it's gonna be from the care the true table for the carrot so this is the carrot symbol oh, okay so this is the this is the boolean this is the boolean logical the boolean logical exclusive okay exclusive or exclusive or okay and the symbol is just gonna be the carrot the carrot sign okay and we are gonna have let me see pretty much a simple condition containing the boolean logical exclusive or the carrot sign 
operator is true if and only if one of its operands is true and the other is false. If both are true or both are false, the entire condition is false. So we're gonna see that. We're gonna have the system. So this is gonna be the system that print format like that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna copy here. Uh, yeah, I can copy for yeah, I'm gonna copy parts. Okay, so here let me see. We have the format, okay. Now we're gonna have the second argument and I can move it like that or just like that. That's fine. Boolean is gonna be Boolean logical okay boolean logical exclusive or okay and inside of the parentheses we're gonna have the caret the caret sign like that so the next argument and we are just gonna just gonna grab uh, just gonna grab this one like that okay let me see that's fine and just we are gonna change the the vertical bar for the carrot sign okay in my laptop I'm using the number sign and I'm pressing shift at the same time so that's how I'm doing it I'm using a windows okay just one more and we can save it and let me see yeah, everything looks fine so let me see okay so we have the boolean logical exclusive or and as you can see when we have false and false it's gonna get us false and when we have true and true it's gonna get us false as well but when we have false a exclusive or we have the true result and when we have true and then false we have the the true result so pretty much when one is different from the other and you can think of this of well you're gonna see that later on one and this would be well that this would be zero and this would be one and this would be one and then this would be zero and then this would be one and one okay so when they are both different just like in this case and in this case that is when it becomes true but when they are similar as in the false false that would be zero zero or in true true that would be one one they are uh, false as we can see here false and false and finally we are gonna see the, the true table for the logical negation operator so we can go here and just boolean okay or just logical so logical negation okay so in the symbol is just gonna be the, the exclamation mark and doing the pressing shift and then the number one in my windows okay so we have the system that format so it has to be format I'm gonna I'm gonna grab let me see I'm just gonna again grab this one here paste it and this time we are gonna have only let me see just just two of those okay just like that um, okay so we're gonna have that the second argument we are gonna have let me see the second argument we are gonna have the we're gonna have logical not okay and inside the parentheses we're gonna have exclamation mark logical not so the next argument is gonna be here is gonna be exclamation mark false okay we're gonna have in parentheses and the exclamation mark false uh, motorcycle never mind and in the same line we can do true 
okay well not true like that not true and then comma separated and not true inside of the parentheses and yeah that would be it and let's take a look okay exception main java format specifier no i did something wrong here uh, let me see we have the string s then we have is then we have um, then we have let me see b and s then b and oh okay like that it has to end and let me see lowercase b to the next line okay yeah well we have the string sign to the next line a string sign and then we are gonna have the the boolean okay so we're gonna have the boolean and then to the next line a string and then boolean and to the next line okay and as you can see we have the logical not so when we have when we have a not false well it's gonna get us true and when we have not true it's gonna get us false so these are basic examples but you can appreciate the the logical operators.